Hey everybody, it's Jack playing Brood of Mario World. In this episode, we are going to finish off what we didn't finish off in the last episode in World 2, which is finish these last two levels of uh, Pyro Mario and also the Star World level, because I'm assuming that's where the secret's going to take me here. I, what? What? But, but why? Why would you, why would you do such things? Okay, so this is, ow, this is pretty realistic stuff here. Um, I'm not used to the realisticness of these physics. Okay, I have a P-switch now, and P-switches are used for P-switchy-switchy -switchy things involving maybe coins, and that Koopa's kind of trapped. But it's kind of make me wonder, what's what's the point of all these trapped enemies? Um, oh, wait a minute. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Um, but that also makes this kind of difficult because there's so many places for me to go. Um, and I also probably cannot touch that fire. Oh, look at that, I can, but that's death. <laughs> Alright, well, again, that was a demo. I, d I just had to see if I could touch the fire. And yes, I, I could touch the fire without endangering my life or anybody else's. Um, oh, see, wow, you have to be really fast for that key. Alright, well, I'm not concerned, I suppose. Um, I guess what I'm going to be doing is just doing a little bit of um, testing and sneaking around. So these are just these are just a bunch of coins which I can grab because I can grab coins and coins are good for you know my life because they involve my life and stuff. But all right, there's also a dragon coin down there and a, and a, and there's a turtle down here too. So, so sorry, turtle man. I'm sorry you're kind of trapped, but it is what it is. I suppose there's not much I can do about your trappedness. Well, I suppose there is, but do I feel like it? Not really. All right, because I'm because apparently I want to get all these dragon coins <laughs> because it's totally necessary. I can probably do this. Yeah, this is actually kind of neat. This idea for a level. So I don't want to go down, I want to go right. So, oh, I see. So these are just essentially... They act like ice blocks, in a way, I suppose. So that makes a little bit of sense. Um, there seems to be a lot of places I could be going here, but then again, there might also not be. It just seems like this world's kind of an open expanse. Oh, this is getting kind of cheesy now. Um, I don't know what I'm doing, so they're just going to test things out. Okay, so I, I did the right thing, guys. Don't worry about it. I did I did the right thing, but where do I use this P-switch? I have no idea. It seems like I could go up in the up realm, but I don't seem to be able to reach the up realm right now, so... Uh, is that ground? I'm going to do a science. Ground. Yeah, it's dead. It's ground. Well, I, I probably could have... <laughs> two dragon coins right next to each other. And, um, hmm. Well, uh, this P-switch was supposed to be used somewhere. Um... I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, so there was a key and a P-switch. First of all, I think I want to grab the key just to see what's... D what? Maybe, is there no Star World in here? Or is there a secret in the fortress? Who knows, man? Nice to see Mr. The Bummy Bomb Bomb. Oh, I killed myself. It's pretty great. Being deciphering where is safe and where isn't. Um, ah, crap. All right. Let's see. What is the uh, what does the up uh, log have to say? Anything? Anything? Uh, there's a key hole. So that's the key hole. Then what's this P switch for? I am kind of confused about that. Unless it's not really meant for any particular. Oh, wait a minute. I have a theory. Who knows if that theory is going to work, but it's a theory nonetheless. Yeah, I've got to be super fast. Haha, I did it. I did a thing. I did a thing, guys. Don't worry, guys. I did a thing. I kind of want to grab this. Alright, so now I have, now I have a key. So that's the purpose of that P-switch. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Alright, so I'm going to find the rest of the world with a possible keyhole hidden somewhere in it. Good thing I know where that keyhole is already. If I didn't, I would be a very sad panda. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm sad. Alright, let's see. Is it over here, Mr. Turtle Man? I think it is. There it is over there. Thank you, Mr. Turtle Man. You are something used to me. Without you, where the hell would I be right now? Probably in a lot of luxury. I've made my life really hard, to be honest. I will not argue with this with this logic. And hello, Mr. Keyhole. Meet Mrs. Key. Actually, that didn't make much sense. Let's do. Yeah, that wouldn't make sense. Mr. Key and Mrs. Keyhole. There you go. All right. Well, that's the secret exit. So is there? There's got to be a star here somewhere. I mean. Oh wait. I. It takes me. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Tree Fort Mountain. 
that, that, that is where we are going now. This the, the, the exit to this will take us to the star. Hooray, hip hip hooray. Oh, and I and I must apologize for this video getting up just a little bit late today. Um, I had stuff to do the morning of this upload, and I didn't quite get to it very soon. So, but th th that's my ex that's my exploration ex exploration explanation to you guys is that I was busy. <laughs> um, so this is a tree fort stuff. Uh, can I go in the upper realm? I feel like it'd be kind of a hard jump. Yeah, I don't think I can do that. Ugh, nope. Well, guys, I had to try. I sure had to try. This is actually really hard as Big Mario, but it's not impossible. And then we have Potobos coming out of absolutely nothing, and they're flying really high, because they had Potobos are really good jumpers, apparently. Is there anything over there? It doesn't seem to, there doesn't seem to be. I think I need to... Oh. This is kind of cool, actually. Oh, what the, how did I manage that? <laughs> Alright, well, I managed something of a something. Uh, I, I don't know how I did that. You can go up here. Anything at all? Nope, just a, just a thing. Woohoo! Alright. So this time I'm not going to jump into a hole like a maniac. Uh, this time I'm going to grab my feather and... What the hell? What am I supposed to do here? Uh, oh, this is a... I didn't realize that was a vine. I was like, what is this? Is this supposed to be like a line for a platform or something? Oh, this is actually pretty neat stuff, to be honest. This is... This is very Donkey Kong Country, and I like it. But the problem with it being very Donkey Kong Country is that it's also pretty difficult. I probably cannot... <laughs> so I probably can't spin jump on these bees, but next time I'll do a science on that. This is actually kind of difficult. Just by the way. Alright, so I'm gonna science this... I, I can spin jump on the bees. Alright, well, in that case, that makes it easier-ish, ish, easier-ish. I'm not sure why that brown block's there, you don't really need it. Um, and I'm supposed to spin jump on you to get up here, so a science was almost completely unnecessary. Alright, so where is this gonna take us? The midpoint. Hello, midpoint! It's nice to see you after this, after the long, dank hallway that was a bee-infested wax-filled mayhem planet. It's, ni it's nice to see my original Mario World enemies again. Because it sure is something I don't get to see very often. More with this foreground nonsense. Um, what the... Boom, boom! <laughs> what, what the hell are you doing here, guy? This is uh, kind of strange. Alright, well, um, it's kind of unfortunate that I can't really see you. Um, and I'm, I'm supposed to jump on your head as you're dive-bombing at me. Oh, well, I missed, but that's okay. Um, do I want to stay in a place where I can see him? Yeah, it is, unless... Whoa! Okay. Boom Boom, you're a crazy guy. You just kind of show up in random places all the time, and I've never quite understood why. <laughs> hip, hip, hooray, I suppose. Is those, I suppose, I guess. I don't know. Well, boom, boom, you're a strange character. All right. So this will take us to our star realm, world realm, which is kind of saddening because these levels seem to seem to take a while. All right, forest star. What does the forest star have to tell us? No Yoshi sign. That's what it has to tell us. It says, screw your horses. Get oh, God. Oh, God. Um... This is a little scary, but not too immensely scary. You know, the, to be honest, the Bramble levels were actually my... What do you mean, R? Oh, I can fire stuff, too. Sweet. Um, the Bramble levels were actually my favorite levels in Donkey Kong Country, too. And I thought they were... I just think they're fantastic. And I need to, I need to play that on this channel, don't I? I really think I should because it's one of my favorite games and I'd be a moron not to play it. I've been meaning to do that for years. But I've just never found the time in my busy recording schedule. Bees, you didn't turn around like I figured you would. See, then you turned around. I'm assuming I can't touch the edges of the brambles because I'm assuming that would mean I'd die. Um, and death is not a very positive... How the hell? Alright, well. <laughs> a dragon coin outside the brambles. I'm no longer in Bramble Town, which is kind of saddening because I enjoy... There's... Wow. That was a short level. <laughs> that was a really short level, and there was a secret exit somewhere. So there is something I missed. Something only 
that's probably something obvious, considering it was so short. Alright, well... Let's, uh... Let's explore, shall we? I can escape the brambles. Oops. Can I actually go under here? No. <laughs> I can't. Just... Ow. Because I definitely just have not seen one anywhere. Ah, darn it. Besides, I suppose... Yeah, I mean... My only thought is to go under everything, but... There really isn't a place I can easily do that. So, it is possible to go under everything, it's just... Not easy. The hell am I going here? Where am I going with all this logic? I'm just dying a million times because I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Wait, actually, those... Those coins... God damn it. What am I experiencing here? This is really weird. Yeah, I'm completely puzzled. I mean... There is no way for me to get outside those brambles. have a ground, so what the hell? This just doesn't make any sense. This is a total mystery to me right now. A complete and utter mystery. To my very being. kidding me? <laughs> God damn it, it was that easy. The problem is that there was like, no implication that that's what I had to do. It just said, oh, here's your last coin, I hope you can figure out how to get it. Man, and before I end this video, there is one thing I wanted to check. Um, what castle was it? It was in the World 3 castle. It's talking about that orb thingamajig. Um, because there was a way in which I could go back in one of the rooms, and I kind of want to see what I can do regarding that. See, it's these, these things. It's totally possible that I can bring it all the way back and use it right over here. So what it what is back here? Wow, that was a perfect amount of time too. All right, so there's this door. This is what we didn't. Aha! That is where the orb is. Huzzah! But actually, in that case, did I ever actually find the orb in the other castle in the the castle we did yesterday? I don't think I did. But man, it seems it could be a, take a long time to do that, but Do I have to see this again? Because I've seen this a million times already. Well, that, that's an obviously an exaggeration. We've, I mean, we, we already we already know you're a Casanova there, Mario. But, you know, you, you don't really need to... I mean, Romeo does rhyme with Mario, so... I wonder if that has something to do with that. Maybe if your parents are like, he's going to grow up to be... a plumber with a muskrat on his face. Because a muskrat is the animal I thought of. Any guy... Anyway, uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode of Brutal Mario World. Uh, I'll see you guys next time when we do you know, World, uh, not World 7. I go to episode s This is episode 7. See you next time for episode 8, uh, where we uh, do the start of World 3. See you guys.